talk to you. No, it's only a night. Why is your mom on my door? I see you got a new dog, huh? Yeah, how do you know? How I know? Can't you hear the dog barking so loud? My dog? Very cute, right? Cute? Seriously? It's 12 in the night and I'm up because of your stupid dog, stupid barks. You don't have a meeting tomorrow, I have to get up early. Oh, come on. I see you are the only one affected here. Oh. Really? Ugh. We have professional mediator, Shannon C. Tonight, we will be focusing on a case that highlights a recent trend that has been affecting the whole nation. Community disputes over noise pollution. Hi Aditi, welcome to the show. I'm really glad that you guys have made this choice to come for mediation. As you know, the courts in our country are very overworked, so it may take you months before you can get to see a judge. Even then, you may not be able to freely say everything you need to say in a court setting. The difference here is that you can speak your mind freely and get your views heard, which is the most important part. As a mediator is to guide you, help you communicate, and to explore all the possible options to work out your issues so that we can come to a resolution that fits you both perfectly. Are you guys ready to talk over your differences? We start with you, Jiatie. I guess I understand your viewpoint now. Thank you for understanding. Things have taught me not to lose my cool so easily and I definitely now see the importance of turning to amicable discussions instead of having heated arguments whenever a conflict arises. And yeah, I definitely try harder in the future to maintain my relationship with my neighbors. I've definitely learned a lot from this mediation session, including how to empathize with my neighbor Aditi. So in the future, I'll take care not to cause so much distress. And I'll also like to take this opportunity to recommend mediation to everyone out there who has a similar situation.